Today at IGCSE students we're looking at histograms and frequency density uh, and so I guess a handy little formula for us would be frequency density equals the frequency divided by the class width. Okay um, so uh, we're going to do that here. Uh, the class width is the distance from the lower to the upper part of a class, so in this case 0 to 1 is 1, so our frequency density is simply going to be 7 divided by 1, which is 7. The next one, um, we've got 39 and the distance here is 3, 1 to 4 is 3, so we're going to go three divide, uh, 39 divided by 3, and that is 13. This time, again, we've got a difference of 3. So we're going to go uh, 42 divided by 3, which is 14. And last of all, uh, this time our gap is uh, 6. So we're going to go 12 divided by 6, and that gives us a frequency density of 2. And so we have to represent this on a chart. Um, so here's my quick, really dodgy attempt at it. Uh, if we say 14, 12, 10... Uh, what have we got? Uh, 8, uh, 6, uh, 4, 2, 0. Okay, there we go. I didn't need to go so far. And along here, um, I guess we'll go in... What are we, can we go in here? Um, maybe we'll go... Uh, we need to get to 13. So... Might just go in 2s. It's not perfect, but it'll give you a rough idea of what you should be looking at. Now, so this is going to be FD, frequency density. Um, I'd probably write that properly if I was using paper here. And this is uh, time and hours. Okay. So the first one uh, has a frequency density of 7, I think we said. And so my bar is going to go up to 7. Okay, you guys can use a ruler, so it'll be a bit easier for you. My next bar goes from 1 to 4. So I'm going to go from 1 to 4, but this time I've got a frequency density of 13. So it goes up here, and it goes across to 4, which is there. And i just run that all the way down here. So that's my next one. Um, Colour that in neatly. Beautiful. Okay, the next one, um, 4 to 7 has a frequency density of uh, 14, so it goes up one, and we're going to 7, which is halfway here, straight down, and colour that one in. Okay, now the last one is a super wide one, because we're going from 7 all the way to 13, uh, but this time the density is way down at 2, so um, it will go like this, all the way along to 13, um, and so that's pretty much what the first one should look like for you guys. Hope that makes sense. Uh, yours will be hopefully a lot neater than that. Moving on. Okay, so this one we've got a histogram and we've got frequency density. So there's a little top tip here going the other way. Uh, so if we know the um, frequency density and we multiply it by the class width, so that's just rearranging the original formula that I gave you up here. Uh, if we do that, then we can get uh, back to frequency. So, let's look at the frequency density between 0 and 3. So if you look here, you can see that it's 2. So we're going to go 2 times 3, and that will give us a frequency of 6. Now between 3 and 5, which is this bit here, um, 3 to 5, you can see that the frequency density there is 4. So we're going to go 4 uh, times the class width. Now the class width here is just 2. So it's going to be 8. The next one, <coughs> excuse me, you've got a class width of 1, and you've got a frequency density of uh, 7, so it's 7 times 1, that's 7. Uh, the next one is a class width of 3, um, and it's got a uh, frequency density of 3, so this should be, I think, 9. And the last one they've got already there for you. So, uh, 6, 8, 7, 9, and 5, perfect. Now, you can do an estimate of the mean. Uh, the way you do that is you're going to do 
uh, mid interval values, MIVs. Uh, so this looks like a 1.5 here. 1.5. This will be a 4. This will be 5.5. This will be a um, 7. Oh, sorry. What's that? It's a frequency density of 3, so it'll be 7.5. Uh, and this one here is a frequency density of 5, so we want 2.5, so it should be 11.5 there. That's your mid-interval values. You're going to multiply those out. So we're going to go 6 times 1.5, and that will give us 9. So this is fmiv or fx. And then the next one would be 4 times 8, so that's nice and easy, 32. The next one is 7 times 5.5, which is uh, uh, 38.5. Uh, and then the next one is 7.5 times 9. And that gives us 67.5. And the next one is 11.5 uh, times 5, which is uh, 57.5. Now, we add all of these up, and we add all of our frequencies up. So the sum of the frequency is, uh, what have we got? 6 and 8 is 14, and 7 is 21, and 9 is 30, so that's 35. Now, if we add this other nonsense up down here, 9 plus 32 plus 38.5 plus 67.5 plus 57.5 uh, gives me a 204.5. Uh, 204.5. Now, mean is equal to the sum of fx divided by the sum of f, which is equal to 204.5 divided by 35. Uh, and that gives me an answer of 5.84 is my estimate, uh, which looks to be about right. Um, just that seems to be about in the middle of the data there. Moving on. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is a question that you guys have to do or not. Okay, we've got to copy and complete the table. Okay, so we've got some frequency density. So we're going to use that formula again. Um, frequency is equal to FD multiplied by class width. So that's what we're using here. So um, from 0.5 to 1, we've got a class width of half and a frequency density of 16. So half of 16 is 8. The next one is a width of 1, and it's at 20. So we're going to go 1 times uh, 20, uh, 20 times 1, so 20. The next one has a width of 0.5. And this looks to be 30, so I'm going to go 0.5 of 30, which is 50. Uh, dear, oh dear, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, where are we? Let's go back to our screen. I think I just accidentally closed it. There we go. Um, where were we at? 1 to 2. Okay, that should be 10. And then we had uh, uh, 2 to 2.5. So we're going to go half of 30, which is 15. And then we've got 2.5 to 3, uh, so again, it's uh, just a half uh, class width, and we're at 28, so half of 28, 0.5 times 28 is 14. And then finally, 3 to 4.5, uh, this is a class width of 1.5, and we're doing a frequency of 8, so we're going 8 times 1.5, which gives us a total of 12 there. So I think that should be all good. Uh, we've got 8. Um, we got 10, uh, we got 15, oh wait a second, I may have made a mistake here, um, this one should be 20, because it's 20 times a class width of 1, so that's a bit better, 15, yeah I'm happy with that 14, and I'm happy with 12, okay, <coughs> now we could estimate the mean, uh, uh, how many students spent less than 1.5 hours watching television, um, okay, less than 1.5. Um, so 1.5 is halfway through this boundary here. So we could say that half of this boundary spends less time than 1.5. And then we've got the 8 and the 1. So if we just add all of those together, uh, we should get an answer of 19. So I think it's about 19. Um, estimating a mean number of hours, we'd use our mid-interval values again. Um, and that would uh, help us to find that. I'm not going to do that because it's going to take too much time, and I've already demonstrated how to do that in the previous question. I will have a quick look at number uh, letter D. We're choosing a student at random. 
We're going to find the probability the student spent more than two hours watching television. Okay, so let's look at the students that spent more than two hours. Okay, um, that is these guys. Right? These guys all spent more than two hours. And that is a total of uh, 15 and 14 is 29. Uh, 31, 41. So there's 41 students who spent longer than two hours out of a total of now how many total what's our total well um 41 uh 42 50 uh 70 i think out of 70 so that would be our probability 41 out of 70 and that is how you do that all right guys good luck with this exercise let me know if you have any questions